Yo, what's going on guys? And of course, you guys know what time of year it is. It's the Orlando Magic season preview and prediction. And guys, I said last year, this was my surprise playing team. Well, that pick is back. This is my surprise playoff team. If they're not a playing team, they're a playoff team. And if they're not a playoff team, they're a playing team. They went 34 and 48 last year. They brought in Joe Ingles, who's just going to be a veteran. I think we a little bit overpaid, but you know, who cares? And B Black, I love that trick, that drafting. Same thing with Jed Howard. We brought back Admiral Schofield. Also, Anthony Parker is our new GM. And we got ourselves a first round pick swap from Phoenix. Now, this is a team that I think we kept Mo Wagner. We picked up Goga bits a day. It's option. And Jonathan Isaac's coming back from the torn left abductor muscle surgery. So this is a team that we do have a lot of point guards, like adding black. We, we found out that Cole Anthony's probably going to be moved. So, you know, Black's an elite passer who's more than capable of defender. And we showed that, like, hey, we're going to be a team that's going to be good. And probably a trade is going to happen. But, dude, look at the Orlando Magic. Let me just – this is our roster right now. Starting lineup, Markel Fultz, probably Gary Harris, Franz Wagner, Paulo Bancaro, Wendell Carter Jr. Off the bench, Anthony Black. Jalen Suggs, Joel Ingles, Jonathan Isaac, probably Mo Wagner, then Jet Howard as our 11-man rotation. Then we have Goga Bitsade, Cole Anthony, Caleb Houston, Chuma KK, and then Brandon Williams, Matt McClug, Trevlin Queen, and Mayuni. Those four guys are probably going to be on the practice not practice the G League squad so because we already have 15 guys with Cole Anthony Caleb Houston Jed Howard Chuma KK Mo Wagner being the back end of the roster and then as well as go go bits today but Jonathan Isaac Joe Ingles Jalen Suggs Markel Fultz Wendell Carter Jr. Paulo Bank Carol Franz Wagner Gary Harris Anthony Black being the squad out of training camp but there is only two two ways filled with the third two way probably going to either I'd say Matt McClung, Trevor Clean, Trevor Lynn Queen or Mayuni or Brandon. I mean, all four of these guys are really capable. I'd say the, the least capable is Trevor Lynn Queen, even though he won MVP or I guess Mayuni. He fell out of the league. So there's that. But I do believe this team, a team that ended up going what we the Orlando Magic, we turned, dude, we were such a, we were a different team, okay? We were a different team the beginning and the end. But we went 34 and 48. We finished 13th in the conference, but we were the 26th best offense, 16th best defense, 24th in net rating. So I do think basically we should be better defensively. And if we can be a more efficient team and that's just hitting our shots, which we went out and got three point shooting, that's what we did. And hopefully, that'll correct what we haven't been able to do. Hey guys, and today we of course are talking about the Orlando Magic, and you guys have already heard the beginning of this video. And a few talking points that I think we need to talk about. First off, Chumo KK and Cole Anthony and Jonathan Isaac are the three players most likely to be traded. Cole Anthony, supposedly, we feel, I've said this for months and maybe even a year, that basically since we got Jalen Suggs, Markel Fultz is our point guard of the future he's the cornerstone that is our he's arguably the best defensive point guard in the league not named drew holiday and he's got two-way ability and then jalen suggs they hope he can become a drew holiday-esque player is the belief right there so you got yourself you know already jalen suggs and and Markel Fultz, and then you draft Anthony Black, it's just odd man out to Cole Anthony because he's like, the, this team likes defense, and Cole Anthony is not defense. And I think he has the career potential of being a six-man of the year candidate. It's just, they're there. that's what's up. And Chumo KK, nothing against him. It's just, what position do you play, man? You're clearly not a swing man. So if you're not a swing man, you aren't a combo forward. So are you just an like uh, an oversized wing who can't play the forward position? Or are you, you know, 
uh, an undersized with a forward. I don't know. It's really weird. I, he also isn't as good defensively rebounding. You know, he's just he's kind of meh. There's nothing special about him or anything that stands out. So I think that that's another guy they're trying to move on from. And their their argument, they're like, oh, there's probably some trade value for him because he's still a little young. And then Jonathan Isaac is the injuries and timeline he just doesn't fit. So if there's guys you guys were wondering who we're going to move on, those are definitely some of the guys to keep an eye out for. But I think this year, I mean, I think we're the everyone says Vision 6 9 is a Toronto Raptors thing, but like I think the Orlando Magic achieved it before the Raptors did. And there's a potential that like we'll see a lineup where it's Anthony Black, Jet Howard, Franz Wagner. Paulo Bancaro and Wendell Carter Jr. That's basically six, eight and above everyone, which is absolutely incredible to think about that. That lineup could exist. And I think Jamal Mosley is the right coach for it. He was the defensive coordinator for the Dallas Mavericks. If you guys didn't know. And he's played really an integral part in in terms of like i think helping forge a defense for this team and really being a, a big part of why this squad has done a you know i think last re- last year i don't i think jamal mosley's coaching didn't get enough credit in terms of why this team if you guys looked compared i think it was the first 41 games compared to the last 41 or the first 30 games compared to the last 52 games I think we went like 32 and 20 in comparison to going like five and 27 in the first half. So we absolutely did like a a 180 on coaching wise. The large part was we were playing this defense. I mean, the stifling defense. Hey, call up the uh, Boston Celtics and ask them how it feels that the season series. I'm pretty sure we swept them. We swept the Boston Celtics, the team that went to the Eastern Conference Finals. All right, so I think that was something that was really, really enjoyable to see the defense that we have, what we were capable as of, you know, as a unit. And it's really, really fun to see what we've been doing. So I don't know. I think we're we haven't even touched the surface. We haven't even scraped the surface in terms of what we're we're capable of. And as an Orlando Magic fan, I'm just excited to see what the potential for this franchise is and with every single day that passes i think other magic fans should be excited because this is a team that quite honestly this year could be a top six seed i think we're we're guaranteed locked to be a playing team if i had to say so myself and i'm pretty sure we talked about it earlier in the video that like this is at least if they make a playing team you gotta fire jamal mosley you gotta you got to do something because this team's got too much talent to, to be a to be a playing team and so to be not be a playing team i apologize and yeah like i i'm super excited to, to see where we can go with this and what will what will become of it so like i don't know i'm, I'm definitely excited also this guy's flashing me like this is me Okay, like this is my problem, but yeah, bye.